Good morning, my friends. I hope you're all doing really well. Today I'm going to be doing a flip through of my colored glue book. It is finally finished and completed. I have really enjoyed doing my Monday morning glue book sessions with you guys. And now that both of my glue books are completed, I'm not quite sure yet what I'm going to be starting on next. I haven't quite decided. Um, to be honest, I had a bit of a hard time getting myself started this morning and just uh, coming down here to my craft room and recording. We have this beautiful thunderstorm come through this morning. It was so relaxing and I had uh, such a bad headache. I had to drop my husband off at the truck. It was really hard for me today for some reason and uh, maybe I'll insert a little bit of a clip here of our beautiful thunderstorm that we had this morning. Um, for those of you that like the nature sound of things, last Monday um, I did a flip through of my, was it last Monday or did I do a, no I had a glue book session last Monday, but I have done a flip through of my alphabet glue book as well that is completed. I will leave that video link down below if you did not see uh, me flip through of my alphabet glue book. But today I will be sharing um, my um, colored glue book with you. And then I'll be starting on something different. I'm not quite sure yet what. Maybe I will start another glue book uh, for my Monday mornings. I'm not sure. Let me know down below if that's what you would like. Uh, I haven't quite decided yet what I wanted to do. I did... Um, of course, the hashtag no fuss glue book sessions on Mondays so that you can join me in doing and using my hashtag here. And uh, so we will see what I will get started on. I know this week I'm doing a couple of different flip throughs. Um, I also have uh, my heart prompt glue book or collage book, if you may say that collage or glue book. I don't know. Um, I am complete that as well. I will also be doing a flip through of that one. The 100 heart prompts. I'm finished this one as well. So I'll be doing a flip through of it this week. Stay tuned for that. And um, I will get set up here and uh, we will get started on flipping through this one and just have a little chit chatty morning here. But uh, I think first I'll insert a little bit of our beautiful morning here first and then we will get started. I hope you enjoy the small clip of the weather this morning that we were having. I absolutely love a beautiful thunderstorm, especially this time of year. It is so fresh outside right now. And I have to admit I had a bit of a hard time getting started this morning. Coming down here into the craft room, <laughs> I just enjoyed um, listening to the thunder. I had to drop my husband off early in the morning and... Uh, but I am down here now and let's get the day started. So this book over here is just a simple uh, magazine that I picked up at a, um, I believe it was an information center somewhere down the line where we traveled. It's one of those traveling uh, magazines and that's what I turned into a glue book. The alphabet glue book uh, is just a uh, seed catalog that you get free in the mail. So as you can see, you don't need to have anything expensive to get started on glue booking. 
So the front cover I just collaged with all kinds of different beautiful images from my magazines that I thrift. Uh, there's nothing new in here. Everything is just very cheap and uh, almost free, really. So anybody can just start a simple glue book and it is so relaxing and so fun. And I just added some of beautiful images of birds and butterflies and flowers. And then I put some alphabet um, little tags in here that I had to glue on. I hope the glare won't be too much here because I had to turn on my lights because of the... It's very dark outside still right now. It's almost 10 o'clock when I'm recording and it is quite dark outside. So I had to resource to my lighting here. So if I hold my book up a little bit, then the glare isn't too bad. So I will try to do that for you. So the very pa first page here when I open my book is my pink pages. And I usually went with both pages the same. I just kind of collaged it up even uh, with different colors on both sides. I think throughout the book, though, you will, however, see uh, a few places that have uh, different pages on each side, I believe. So again, um, all the images from in my glue book are from thrifted uh, magazines. So very cheap. Uh, most of our magazines at our thrift store are anywhere from 25 to 50 cents. So it is, and you get so many beautiful images out of one magazine. Here I have my orange page with just all kinds of different orange and some yellows on here. I think this page is so bright and beautiful and I don't know, just very cheery. And then my blue page, I have some yarn here and a blue living rooms and just all kinds of different uh, images. And there's no right, no wrong. Just kind of do whatever you feel like, whatever your heart is desiring um, to create with. And it doesn't have to match. It, <laughs> it can be just any image and uh, it's just all for fun. And then, of course, there's my red page with strawberries and a red apron and all kinds of different red images and if you ask me which is my favorite page i don't know if i could tell you because i love all of them and then i have my white page and my gold page it was a little bit harder for me to find images of gold and silver but i managed to uh, find enough that i could complete it and here, of course, is my silver page. And then I've got my green page here. It is just so fun putting these images together and gluing them in here. And uh, my yellow page. Um, okay, I have to just make a quick note here. I said that all my images were from thrifted magazines. This image right here uh, comes from Daphne's Diary magazine. So uh, there might be a few items in here from my Daphne Diary magazines. I'm not sure. I think not lots. From what I can remember, I think this is the only one, but I'm not 100% sure. And I started making a pink page and I found <laughs> all of these beautiful... Uh, pink images and I think it kind of turned into a Valentine's page. I think it's really pretty. I've got my purple page, another blue one. I love this one right here. It is a black and white uh, page. And I found these beautiful black and white images in magazines that I had thrifted as well. I know there's a little bit of blue in the background here, but I think it's just absolutely beautiful. We've got the brown page. And then here I just did some different drinks. As you can see, I, I was saying earlier, not all of mine will be the same images on each side. Here I've got red and there I've got yellow. 
but as you can see there's a little bit of red in here too so it kind of blends in together and this one is just a food page and then I have a burger page Those burgers look really good and a sandwich page so it's not exactly just a colored glue book but um, I think the colors all kind of blend in together as well and then I have a coffee page maybe this is my favorite I don't know I absolutely love coffee I thought it was just so pretty and then another green page just with a bunch of different house plants that I collaged together and this is it's kind of like a green and yellow page both I thought it was very fitting and it reminds me of fall and yeah I did a salad page <laughs> I thought that would be kind of fun to do and I've got another pink page here and I'm not saying pink is my favorite color I think blue is my favorite color but um, I just ended up finding a lot of pink images in magazines I guess and then here I have another black and white page thought that was really fun to do and here I just have it's a brown page but it's just with different hair colors another red one as well There was a different saying on here. I can't remember what there was, but I just covered it with uh, a little piece of paper and wrote love on there because it suited it so nicely. And here I just have a green page of an outside house as well as the inside wall. I thought that was so pretty. I would never want just a complete green wall in my house, but... I thought it was kind of cool and then I have a bird page and an ice cream page man I'm just looking at all these different ice creams here it looks so yummy and then another white page here I just, well I guess there's some gold in here and then I just found this tag with these numbers. I thought that was really cool. And then this golden doorknob here, it looks like it's a house number and you can go ring the bell and come on in. Um, I don't know, did they make ice cream with almond milk here? Big white cat and a white sofa and then another purple page. And then in the back here it has some fold outs um, that's just how the magazine came and I found lots of uh, index for paints in one of my magazines and I thought that was really cool to add that in here with all the different colors and then here I just put another green image here And then the back I just covered up with a fun magazine page that I found. Oh, I don't know which magazine it was, but it looked kind of retro and vintage. So I just added that in there. I thought that looked really pretty. So as you can see, not all my pages were colored uh, themed, but that is how I started the book off with and just added a few different pages in there as well. Like I said, there's no... Um, rules there's no right or wrong you just kind of do what what you feel like that's why it's just a fun no fuss glue book session so i hope you enjoyed the flip through i hope you're all doing really well we had a busy weekend we had the baby shower this weekend and yesterday we went driving in the hills and did some hiking and it's been a really good weekend I hope you all had a wonderful weekend too and I wish you all a beautiful start to the week and I hope to see you soon in another video. Thank you for watching and I hope you will all be blessed. Bye.